full disclosure here, I have several bird feeders in my garden and it isn't an important thing that we, you know, help birds on their way for those that are struggling with food that we're there to make sure that they're able to survive. I'm not wholly opposed to bird feeding and I think as a supplement to their natural diet it's a good thing but it's much better to have an environment, a habitat in your garden full of plants and maybe a pond and maybe some wild areas and if you've got the space then the habitat is much yeah, but what's more wrong with them? What's, what, OK, fine, but, but what's wrong with bird feeders and bird baths? What's wrong with them? Well, you can have associated issues with them, so you need to think really hard about the cleanliness of them and the quality of your food because otherwise, if you've got food dropping off your bird feeder, that might attract rats. Nobody wants rats in their garden. Hey, you're not really making a very strong case here. I mean, I, I gave you the chance. I'll do not another time. What is really wrong with them? Why do you want to ban them? I don't want to ban them. You don't? No. OK. So you just think we should pursue mild alternatives, like planting berries? You would rather that people have, their, have gardens that sustain the birds naturally? I have got an idea about vegan gardening, and that is a growing idea, just as, as the idea of vegan food is a growing idea and you know I've written a book about vegan gardening super organic gardener and it's just as people are, uh, move from being a vegetarian to being a vegan people are moving from being an organic gardener to a super organic okay. gardener so they've been really careful Fair enough. and thinking really hard about wildlife. Fair enough. David but, but... what do you make of all of this? Uh, well it's very interesting if you're green fingered enough and capable enough to generate enough wild habitat in your garden so you wouldn't need to uh, uh, provide additional food with feeders then that's great but we're not all capable of doing it. I'm certainly not. Hence, I have a mixture of feeders, which I maintain carefully. And also, um, you know, the feeders provide additional food for these tired migrants that are moving through people's gardens. And when they're breeding and feeding uh, their young, it's additional resource so they don't take away the natural resource, which is in limited supply in most urban areas for wildlife. And the bird population in this country is dropping quite sharply, isn't it? Some bird populations are crashing astronomically. If you look at stuff like the house sparrow, that's dropped by something like 71% since the late... And the late. starling? The starlings used Star to be a really common bird. You hardly yeah. ever see one anymore. Yeah, yeah. Their numbers have dropped as well very significantly Why is well. that? There's a lot of habitat loss. If you look at something like native hedgerows, we're down by something like 97% since the 1930s. And also, if you look at um, uh, meadows as well, they've crashed as well in their numbers. What's wrong with the bird bath? I don't think there is anything wrong with a bird bath, <laughs> but necessary, but not, not, not I'm necessarily. Sorry, I think you've been cast here as the villain. No, 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 but I, 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 but I think a natural environment is better. That's yeah. For those people who can't, you know, do provide one in their gardens, this for them is the next best thing. Well, indeed. I mean, I, as, as you, you talked about the bird bath, and that's an interesting issue because you've got a bird bath there. The cat knows where the bird bath is. Yes. Cats like get eating birds. So people who, who like wildlife might have cats. Fun. The effects of cats on birds is quite limited, and they believe that most of the cats are actually predated on birds that probably not necessarily survive. But I think you could buy kind of uh, screens that you fit just below the bird bath itself, which stops a cat from, from getting round onto the top. They can climb up the, the, the stem of the bird bath, but they can't Positioning fit like those things that dogs wear when they've broken the back. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you keep it next to the bushes and all the rest, it provides cover for cats, whereas if you keep it in more open air, then it's less attractive. All right, so what you're really saying is. Grow as many plants as you can, which will feed the birds. If you do have a bird feeder, Not keep it clean, keep it tidy, mm. pick up the food at the bottom in case it does attract squirrels. And if you've got a bird bath, put something protective underneath so the cat can't get the bird. Okay. Stick a bell around your cat's neck. And stick a bell around your cat's neck. Matthew. Although some cats are very good at putting their paw <laughs> against the bell and going <laughs> along like that. Cats. Matthew, David, thanks Thank both very both much.